everyone and welcome back to the Dennis Learning Center YouTube channel. My name is Taylor and I'm an academic coach here at the Dennis Learning Center. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through the second of a three-part video series of all about adjusting to online lectures. This video will give you three tips for how to stay engaged in your online lectures. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay. So the first tip that I have for you is a doozy, so pay attention. Take active notes. This is going to be extremely helpful in making sure that you're staying engaged in your lectures. I know that even when you're in an in-person lecture, sometimes it's hard to pay attention the whole time. The human attention span is pretty short and those lectures sometimes feel pretty long. But by taking active notes, you can give yourself an outline of where you need to be following in your lecture. And if you have some gaps, you can usually tell that you weren't paying enough attention. One of the best ways to do this is Cornell Notes. Cornell Notes, baby, it's your time to shine. Cornell Notes are basically a four section note taking system. The top section is going to be your title or the lecture subject. The section on the left will be for your questions that you have during lecture. The section on the right will be for all of the notes that you take during that lecture. And then the best part, here's where it really gets helpful, is the bottom section is gonna be for a lecture summary. That means that you're gonna have to remember what you learned in lecture and write it down later. The key is, if you're having trouble remembering what you learned, you probably didn't pay enough attention. That makes Cornell Notes a great way to hold yourself accountable for your own learning. If you can't write the summary, you know that next time you need to do a better job. And the gift of online learning is that you can often go back and rewatch your lectures. That's a really great way to make sure that you're staying engaged throughout the lecture. If you get a copy of the slides in advance, you should still try to write down as much as you can during your lecture to make sure that you're staying engaged. If you're focused on getting down as much of the content as you can and absorbing as much of it as you can, you're more likely to not drift off into space. So even if you get blank slides, your lecture provides them, you download them, you just fill in the blanks, take a moment after your lecture to summarize what was in those slides. You can essentially take the Cornell Notes format and apply it to those slides. Additionally, while you're still filling in the blanks, if your lecture is saying a lot more than what's on the slides, be sure that you're writing it down. Take down other examples that he or she cites. Write down anything that they seem to stress because they're probably giving you a hint about what's gonna be examined. Um, in like a final or a midterm. Make any connection that you can to any previous notes or previous lectures that you've had. Try to keep writing as much as possible. If you stop writing, you're probably more likely to space out and we don't wanna do that, especially when we gotta get everything that we can out of these online lectures. Tip number two, manage digital distractions. This means put your phone away during lecture, or if you need it, go ahead and go to your settings and block the apps if that's an option. I know that it is for iPhones, so you have no excuse there. If it's not an iPhone, I'm not really sure. I can leave some links down below that explain how to do that in more detail. I know for a fact that if you're taking notes on your iPad, this is also an option. Go ahead and set that downtime in your settings to be between the hours of nine and five. And that's gonna be really helpful in maintaining some sort of structure and focus as well. If you're taking notes on your laptop, there are a number of web blockers that will keep you from going on certain sites during certain times. And we also have some more information on all of this, all of these recommendations on the Dennis Learning Center website, so be sure to check that out. It's also in the description. <laughs> tip that I have for you today for staying engaged in your online lectures is to engage with the actual course. This is super important. So a great way to stay engaged with your content is to ask questions. I know it's crazy. Sometimes it's hard to come up with a question to ask, in which case it is not mandatory. However, if you do have a question, having your lectures be over Zoom or even a video recording means that you have an opportunity to take a sec to write down what your question is, either in the chat box or on your paper for an email for later to your professor. If you are one of those people who hates asking questions in big lectures, first of all, I feel that. I feel you. But now, 
you're in a situation where everyone can't turn and stare at you if you ask a question, you can just click the little hand raise button. If your lecture is video based, this is going to be of a little bit of a different situation. I would recommend that you write down the timestamp in the video that you're watching for the concept which you're referring to in your question so that when you email your professor, you can have an exact reference point for them to go and say, okay, here's what I told you, here's the further explanation. That can be really helpful not only for your understanding, but also for your professors to make sure that they can help you in the best way possible. Another great way to stay engaged in that lecture by engaging with the material is to follow the professor's reference points. Specifically, if they have a slideshow and they reference a specific article, give yourself time to Google that quick article. It doesn't take that long, but it might actually give you more information and more insight as to what the lecturer wants you to draw from their presentation. Additionally, if your lecture is video based, you can pause the video, take a sec to go find that textbook, read the paragraph that your professor is referencing if you haven't read it already because sometimes library reading, as much as we want it to happen, just doesn't. So read the paragraph that the professor is referencing and then restart the video with an increased knowledge about what the professor is talking about and a better insight as to how the lecturer wants you to take and interpret the material that they're presenting. So yeah, those are the three main tips for how to stay engaged in your online lectures. I hope that this video was helpful and if it was, don't forget to give it a like. Go ahead and subscribe for more content from the Dennis Learning Center. Please leave a comment. Tell us what you want to see. We're here to support you in this time of transition and any time after that. So leave a comment, tell us what you want to see, tell us what you need to help with, and we will try to produce videos that are tailored to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.